This is the brand new ID Core version 4 from Blackstar and it is very, very cool. So to start with, Blackstar say it has six enhanced voices and in People Talk, that means it has six newly updated channel voicings based on the classic Warm Clean, Bright Clean, Crunch, Super Crunch, OD1 and OD2. It has three controls for each voice, or each sound, each channel, uh, gain, volume level, and ISF. ISF stands for infinite shape feature, and it's like a master tone control, which sweeps between more of an American sound to more of a British sound, or more 6L6 to more EL34 in Tube Talk. But don't worry, the sounds are much more tweakable than that, and I'll touch on that in a minute. It comes with 12 super wide stereo effects, super wide like this wide. Uh, it's one of the biggest selling points for me actually. It, it really sets it apart from other practice amps. This particular one is 20 watts, but you can drop the power down to one watt for more control over the volume at very low settings. You can connect it via USB to your computer, which allows you to deep edit the sounds via their software, which is called Architect and Cab Rig Lite. Uh, this gives you the ability to tweak your sound using three band EQ, bass, middle travel, plus resonance and presence. The USB functionality also allows the ID card to become an audio interface, but most importantly, Blackstar have started using USB-C for connection, unlike many other brands still using prehistoric mini and micro USB. That's a pretty big plus for me. It has a stereo line in so you can play along to your favorite songs or backing tracks, but even more impressively, allows you to stream directly to Instagram, YouTube, or whatever social media platform you like. It allows you to save patches, so for example you can go from a clean sound with reverb and delay to a dry crunchy sound to a lead sound with chorus and delay. You can switch between these patches using the FS11 foot switch or the FS18 foot switch. Unfortunately, neither of those are included. It has a built-in tuner and comes with access to free online guitar tuition, which is great for newer players or anyone looking to improve their playing. You'll see that it doesn't have a handle on the top, however it does come with a newly designed monkey claw grip on the back which is very comfortable and actually inspired by genuine monkeys, none of which were hurt during the research and development of the ID Core version 4, so that's pretty cool. So this new range of ID Core amps comes in three different versions. There's the 10 watt version with two 3 inch speakers, the 20 watt version, which is the version that I've got here right now, that's got two 5 inch speakers, and lastly the uh, biggest of the range, which is the 40 watt version, and that has two 6.5 inch speakers. Blackstar have made it clear that this is a practice amp, it's for home use, private practice and content creation. It's not really designed for live gigs. You might get away with the 40 watt version for smaller gigs, although I wouldn't recommend it. I'd say if you're looking for something to play in a band with, take a look at their Silverline range, or if you've got your own pedals and effects, check out the Debut 50R. It's very, very good. Okay, so now I want to play you some sounds. I'm going to keep the controls around halfway for each of the tones, so know that there's a little bit more or a little bit less available in terms of gain and EQ for each sound. Something important to note is that you will see some demos of this amp running direct or with a microphone on the speaker and that's fine but I'm trying to give you the most accurate and realistic representation of the sound that you'll actually be hearing if you do decide to buy this. So I'm going to be using this Zoom H6 field recorder. It's got two small stereo condenser mics which should hopefully give you a much more realistic sound uh, or a much more realistic idea of how it will sound. Also, please could you do me a massive favor and press the subscribe button. It makes a huge difference and I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you.
One of the more original features of this amp is its ability to easily integrate into your live stream. If your device has a headphones jack, then all you need is a TRRS cable and then you're ready to go. If you're using Apple, then you'll need a converter from Apple that goes from TRRS to lightning pin or TRRS to USB-C if you've got a newer Apple product. You can even play along to backing tracks and stream that live, or just open up Spotify or whatever it is that you use to stream music and you can play along with the songs. Same if you've got some audio files like backing tracks on your phone. The only downside is you won't be able to speak or use your phone's internal mic in combination, but you can just unplug the adapter each time you want to speak to your followers or subscribers. You can also open your camera app and record high quality audio for things like vertical video content like shorts, TikTok stories and reels or you can still do horizontal content if you prefer. I think the whole concept is very forward thinking, well done Blackstar. As I mentioned when talking about the specs you can even use this as an audio interface when connected to your computer. I won't give a tutorial in this video but I do plan on showing just how well this works in that situation. Something especially cool about that is that you can not only record the affected guitar tone but also record a dry signal at the same time. This is perfect if you've got some favorite plugins that you'd rather use for your sounds but also it means you can reamp with the Blackstar with no additional reamp box or cables. Blackstar make a power bank called the PB1 and this amp is fully compatible with that and it means that the amp can be cable free and battery powered. This is ideal for busking as the amp is so light but has more than enough volume for non-invasive busking and even becomes a great option as a travel amp. I like this amp because it's compact and light but still has a big enough shell and speakers to give you a full satisfying sound when practicing at home. The stereo effects make it fun to use and add to the size of that sound and don't confuse that with volume there's a big difference between loud and big sounding being able to practice with a low volume but a big sound is addictive also i've noticed that unlike a lot of other smaller modeling amps every guitar sounds different and like itself through this amp a lot of these kind of amps everything sounds very similar and the subtleties seem to become lost in the processing this doesn't really suffer with that which hopefully you would have heard during the sound demos I think that it's aesthetically discreet, which is probably quite high up on many guitar players lists of requirements when it comes to a practice amp. It needs to blend in at home and you want it to be out in your living space, ready to be used whenever you need. Without other family members complaining about what an eyesore it is, you're probably not going to get away with your snakeskin SLO half stack in your living room, but this should go by pretty unnoticed. I would probably go with the 20 watt version. I don't need any more power than 10 watts for home use, but I prefer the five inch speakers over the three inch ones in the 10 watt version. It's a really fun amp for home use. And as long as you go into it understanding that that's exactly what this amp is supposed to be, I don't think you'll be disappointed. If you're thinking about gigging or playing with other musicians, I highly recommend the Blackstar Debut 50R. I made a video all about it. You can find it just here. It's definitely worth checking it out. Uh, it's the best affordable sub 200 pounds amp that you can buy. And if you've already got your own effects pedals or a modeler, it's ideal.